Hello friends, in this video I'll be talking about Google AdSense errors that you may encounter when trying to embed Google Ads in your websites or blogs. Especially this is very very annoying when you try to embed the Google AdSense in the React or Next.js applications. You might see lots of weird behavior. So let us try to see and understand how you can fix those issues. Starting with the first error, this is the error which says reference error ads by Google is not defined. So this error comes when you are not loading your script, Google syndication script. So you can see that this is the script that you have to load before every ad. Okay. So at whichever place you want to show the ad, you have to add this script. And then your actual ad element that is ins, and then you can see here class name is ads by Google, style, data, ad, client, slot, format, etc. And then followed by you have to also call this one in this particular uh, statement so basically this is where the google will push the ads take the ads from the google servers and push it onto your website so what happens in this particular case is that when it says ads by google is not defined it means that this script is not loaded so make sure that this script is loaded in your website before calling this particular statement window dot ads by google or push okay so it's very simple thing to fix next one is no slot size for the available width so if you look it in the console you might see this kind of error no slot size for available width and ad will not be displayed on your page basically it will show just blank space so reason why this comes is again it is uh, to do with the next year's react applications where client side rendering is happening and uh, you know requests are not being sent to the server so in this case what happens is that google adsense thinks that some elements are like zero width and then since the width is zero it can't show the ads that is what's happening here and that's what the error says so to fix this again it's very very a simple fix what you have to do is that you have to wrap your google adsense this particular element ins with this uh, div and give it a minimum width okay this is very important if you do not specify width again you might encounter these issues so basically this error comes when there is no width it is it's it thinks that the available width is zero so we are specifying here with 320 pixel minimum width so accordingly google adsense will get that from the server specific to this particular width and then it will display on your website and uh, for a reactor next chase the syntax is a little bit different as you are aware you might have to give the styles in this particular syntax style is equal to and then this curly bracket so this is how in the react we write these styles but these both these codes are doing the same thing all we are doing is wrapping this ins element inside a parent element and then we are specifying specific width for that the next error you might encounter uh, which uh, which is talking about the data ad status attribute so basically when the ad is pushed onto your website this data ad status this particular attribute is applied to this element ins element okay and its value is either filled or unfilled so filled means that ad has been published onto your website unfilled means that google wasn't able to get the ad suitable ad for your ad slot and in that case it will just say unfilled and then blank space will be shown on your website so if you want to remove that blank space you can use this particular css so basically what we are saying here is that find all the elements in elements where data add status attribute value is unfilled and then we are just doing the display as none so basically we are hiding that blank space and then another uh, error we might encounter this is not a very critical error which says that all ins elements in the dom with the class already have ads in them so basically what happens here is that let us say you have got one ad slot on your website and then ad has been already published and again if you try to call this particular script so if you just uh, if there is one ad slot in your web, web page then this particular statement you have to call just once if you call it twice then this error will come which says that there is already and why you are trying to push it so basically this statement gets the ad from the server and publish on your website but if already web website has the ad 
then why you are calling this particular statement once again that is what this error message is talking about so just make sure that you are calling this particular statement based upon how many slots are there on your web page so if there are say three slots you have to call this three times if there is just one slot you have to call it just once and uh, finally if you want to embed adsense in react or nextjs applications there is a specific uh, component third party component that you can use that is called as react dash adsense that will make your life easier i think that's all uh, if you have more questions related to this let me know in the comments thank you for watching